The hero of Parsha Shalach is Kalev ben Yefune, who despite being more of an everyman, someone who was not the close student of Moshe Rabbeinu, was nonetheless able to withstand the temptation of joining the Meraglim and remains loyal to Hashem, to Bnei Yisrael, and to Eretz Yisrael. But how was he able to withstand the challenge? How was he able to do it? I think if we look at Perak Yud Dalet of Sefer Yehoshua, we can find the answer. Many years later in Sefer Yehoshua, after the Jews have come into Eretz Yisrael, an old Kalev ben Yefuna comes to his old friend Yehoshua and he says, remember the promise that Moshe made to me long ago when we were with the spies traveling through Hebron and all of them thought that we could never conquer it. I said that we could and Moshe promised then and there that my family would be given the city of Hebron. And it's many psukim describing Kalev uh, wanting the land and Moshe's promise to obtain the land and how they thought it was impossible to drive the giants out. And we're building up year after year, pasuk after pasuk. We're ready for the epic confrontation. How can Kalev do the impossible? How can he chase away the giants and conquer Hebron? And then the Navi tells us just very shortly and simply, Kalev conquered the land. One pasuk. So much build up and the climax seems to be such a letdown. But I think the lesson the Navi is telling us is how was Kalev able to do the impossible? How was he able to maintain faith and bitachon when no one else was? And the answer is, what is our attitude towards a challenge? If you think of someone climbing a mountain, at the bottom of the mountain, it looks awfully high. But once you get to the top and you look down, the challenge seems so much easier in hindsight than it was once it was begun. And the key to Kalev's success, the way he was able to envision how he would be able to conquer Hebron, is that he was looking at it from the end. And the end point, it wasn't a big deal. He showed up, he fought, Hashem helped him, and they chased the giants away. One Pasuk. But Kalev was able to succeed because when everyone else was looking at the mighty city, and they saw the challenge, and they saw the impossible from the bottom of the mountain, Kalev was able to see the future, and was able to look at what it would look like from the top. We all have so many challenges, but the key is to be able to envision success at the end, and that is how ultimately we'll be able to get there.